Okay, hello and welcome back. It's Ben Hatch from Booster Fitness here. We're going to be discussing one of the latest in our wellness trends of 2019, um, referred to as performative wellness. Now, this sort of tagline, performative wellness, um, has been linked to uh, by Latham Thomas, who's a wellness pioneer, uh, to various problems, mental problems such as anxiety and depression. Um, so it's perhaps not always seen as a beneficial thing, although it is something which is going on every day um, in modern life, essentially, which is people uh, posting images and posting um, updates on what they have been doing uh, regarding their fitness and activities. So uh, by nature, it's kind of uh, performative wellness is the actual showing um, of an action um, itself that has been performed rather than actually um, seeing the value in what it is itself it's the value is in showing somebody else what you've done rather than actually feeling value in what you've done yourself now i am a mixed regarding that because i feel like getting more more people involved um, in your actual um, activity by showing it to other people you might get more and more support um, which may enable you to further what you can do it helps you um, actually uh, refer back, it creates a record that you can refer back to later on so in subsequent weeks you can then look back and think oh that picture I posted then when I was doing this event or what have you and therefore you've got a recollection of what you actually did before so you're less likely to forget and that can also help motivate you in the future if you have that reminder of maybe how good it felt to actually um, achieve what you did previously. However the kind of darker side to that is that the, the joy of the action itself may well be lost if it's seen as the end result is the only thing that you're getting satisfaction out of. So that sort of posting up of the, the summary of what you've done isn't going to reflect, you know, if you've had a chat to your mate when you was out and about doing the exercise or if you was exercising in a gym, for example, and the post is about what you actually did in the gym, you might have been at the gym, you might have had a, had a chat to some people that, that, you know, was really sort of fun. And yet you'd come back and you'd post up um, sort of what you've done in the gym maybe, so your sort of reps and sets and your weights that you've used. And then your friend later on might sort of, who has been to the gym and hasn't sort of had that interaction with socially when he's there, um, so therefore has got on with it maybe a little bit more, maybe has actually uh, performed um, in theory maybe better than you. He comes back and he posts it up, gets twice as many likes as you do, you've then looked at that and seen that somebody else has done something better than you and that's perhaps, if you're a competitive person, not gonna make you feel very good. It might inspire you um, to actually obviously improve what you're doing or it might make you feel perhaps inferior to somebody else if the goal is to show show off what you can do and then somebody's then um, sort of beaten that if you like. You then may feel that you actually um, haven't had the same satisfaction and um, that you was actually hoping for from that workout supposing that you hadn't actually posted up anything in the first place so supposing you hadn't adhered to that performative wellness trend uh, you may have actually felt better in yourself not knowing that somebody else maybe had done better than you so i can see um, both sides to that coin i would suggest in general it is good just because on balance um, you can take it as a positive still you can literally look at it as somebody else has done this it might inspire you to try and do what they've done um, also obviously you can have that interaction afterwards you can have the follow up, follow up on the actual thing that you post on social media whether it's social media or not you can have that interaction with other people plus when you're actually there you can still have your um, interpersonal um, positive interactions there as well so at some stage you're still getting that um, satisfaction um, whether that be from kind of commenting on social media or whether that's actually from that gym space. Um, in terms of other negatives, yeah, it might it might be just it might be ultimately just sort of seeing yourself um, on the images you post on social media. You might feel like, like I say, it's not always about comparing yourself to other people necessarily. It's maybe looking at it and maybe thinking, well, actually, I don't want the images up there. Yeah, everyone else is doing that, so maybe it's the peer pressure to actually copy them. And then you realise that you've got something which isn't, can never really be deleted because it's on there. And actually in the public domain that you don't actually want to be there. And then it's quite difficult to then um, maybe reinvent yourself in a different way um, when you're actually doing something else. So I think there are sort of downsides to the performative wellness trend. However, on the whole, it provides an additional information resource on what other people are doing. It provides some 
potentially more social interaction because um, you have a far wider reach with what you're actually putting on there versus when you actually go out and chat to people. The people you're going to chat to are probably really local or maybe from a less um, diverse range of backgrounds that you might get comments from people in different countries on various social media platforms dedicated to exercise, um, which may, may then um, broaden your horizons if you like and enable you to learn about different cultures, different personalities, different people. So the wellness, um, performative wellness, I see on the whole as a positive concept, but the actual value in exercise itself, I feel, can be greater when you're actually doing the exercise and the enjoyment you get while doing it, rather than the value you get from seeing what you look like afterwards or by showing the world what you look like afterwards. Because the value in the exercise itself, I feel, isn't what you actually um, finish up like, it's in the actual process of doing that in the best way that you can. And perhaps you can change um, how you share it so that the actual emphasis, even on social media, is not just on that end result, but also so that your posts have some element of the enjoyment of the activity as well as the end result. And that way maybe you can actually start preventing some of that anxiety and depression which can result from negative connotations associated with um, comparing yourself to other people, maybe being seen as inferior, or maybe seeing value in the wrong part of the actual activity itself, um, and maybe portraying that as like I say, from that end result rather than the actual process of getting to the end result and the satisfaction that you can get from um, actually performing the activity maybe in a different way to somebody else. Maybe you use a different technique, maybe you sort of, like I say, meet different people there. There's lots of other things, other things you can get value out of which aren't just that end evidence-based result. And I think the evidence-based result only seeing value in that is the problem with performative wellness. Yet performative wellness can be a good thing, I feel, if you incorporate the joy of actually doing the activity as well as the end result um, in your social media and take the social media um, constructively in terms of when other people do something which maybe is different to what you're capable of. You can then look at maybe how they've done it, um, what guidance they're offering, if they're offering any, and actually sort of you can just be prepped, just be pleased for them perhaps that they've achieved what they have. Um, so yes, yeah, so I, I think on the whole it is a good thing, performative wellness, um, and is a new concept. So I hope you've found this video useful and hope you now understand what performative wellness actually means. Um, and I'll see you in the next video on latest fitness trends. Thanks very much for watching.